All right, so we're now ready to start working on our interior and exterior decorating activity. So what we're going to do is go to 3dwarehousesketchup.com and you're going to create login with your Google account. You just create an account really quickly. So that way you, you'll probably have to go confirm with your email. And once you're there, just type in um, a search result. So I'm looking for a house. I'll just type house for now. And one thing you need to know is that it always gives you the product tab. Click on models. So what you want to do is go and get these models. And one of the things you need to look for, um, I'm going to provide a default house model, which includes both an interior and exterior decorating component. Uh, but if, if you want, you can have your students look through here. And there are quite a few really good ones. Uh, you just have to look. Maybe uh, popularity uh, is... Well, there goes a really amazing mansion there that you could go get. The catch is, is it is it a decorating on the inside and outside? Sometimes it's a hollow shell. So, you, so then the hardest part of this project is student finding one that works for them. So um, I'll, I'll download this one, 2023. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my twin motion. And I didn't close my last project. So what I'm going to do is create a new scene. Uh, do I want to save it? Uh, I don't need to save that. That was just for practice. So here's my new project. And I always start by deleting these items, which are there just to practice or whatever. So I'm going to go and import this house. And I'm going to have a quick peek to see uh, how that this one uh, does. Now, this is really important. When you bring it in, it's probably by default on here, which adds a lot of extra detail. But for what we're doing with students, it's not necessary. We'll go collapse by material and click import. And what that does is you'll see in my, it'll break things down by the materials as opposed and there's way less uh, items. And now this is where the students take a second and go in. Oh, see, this model is no good because there's, you know, there's no second floor, there's no kitchen. So I'm going to just delete it. And how do I delete it? It's, you select this little arrow highlight it and just press the delete key on your keyboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the model that I've provided uh, and you guys can, you know, look around and find your own if you want. Again, collapse by material. I'm going to import this one uh, and use scene material. You don't want to use the imported material because often the materials in other software are far inferior and therefore would look not nearly as good. So always do that. So here I am, I brought my model in and this is the most important part. I already know this model has an interior and you know, one of the things that sometimes you get is it's already all decorated. So what I ask students to usually do is to show me which house did you pick before they start doing all their work. Now, if they can delete stuff easily, we see this one here and it'll delete the fence and everything. So I got to be careful. Or one of the problems with this one is, look at these trees are very, very low res. But if I click on them, can I delete them? Yes, and it only deletes the trees. So that this is a good model. I'm going to delete these rocks too. And, you know, I can't delete this table. And I can't delete this person because it's attached to other materials, which is not really a big deal. Okay, so I'm using, again, WASD to move around. And I have found a model I'm pretty happy with. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to just check, you know, like if I can change the materials without it changing too many things. And generally speaking, this is a good time to, uh, I'm going to go get wood here. I'm going to put this on the house. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go to the roofing and I'm going to add and now, you, you know, I showed you in the tutorial, it does not look good. So I'm going to, you know, you want to make it look good like that. So you got that red brick. And if you recall, you go down here, you can, you can really change the details here. The scale is the one that's easier to do. So you can make the bricks really big. You get a sense of what, what that looks like. And you can play around with all these settings. I'm going to go under asphalt. I think I'm going wood, brick, you know, stone. Wouldn't that be nice? Because in the real world, that's really expensive. But I'm going to put it down. And so there's my materials. Definitely the grass needs to be redone. 
So let's go there. Let's go to ground. Let's go to, I'm going to just put one of these because it's much nicer. Same thing. Do I want to change the detail, scale, etc.? You can do that here and go in and have a look. You know, play around with it if you don't like it. I'm pretty happy. I can also go in and change maybe a few materials on the inside. But often, because the model's not done by you, you, you're kind of stuck with a few of the things. So that's pretty much where I would start. So have your students do that. If you have any other questions, please let me know.